What's up everybody? So in today's video, we are gonna discuss subqueries. One day ago, I posted a video, Contest Leaderboard, a hackering medium problem. And one of you requested a tutorial about SQL subquery. So what we are gonna do today is we're gonna solve the same problem, Contest Leaderboard from SQL. But we are gonna use, instead of the with statement from one day ago, we're gonna use the subquery today. So let's start. You did such a great job helping Julia with her last coding contest challenge that she wants you to work on this one too. The total score of a hacker is the sum of the maximum scores for all of the challenges. Write a query to print the hacker ID, name and total score of the hackers ordered by the descending score. Okay, there were a lot of information, so let's write some down of it. So total score, of hacker equals sum of their maximum scores for all of the challenges. And we want an output. We want a hacker ID, the name, and the total score, which is the sum of their maximum scores for all of the challenges. Okay, and what else? What other conditions do we have? Write the query to print the hacker ID, name and total score, yes, of the hackers ordered by the descending score. So condition order by score descending. If more than one hacker achieved the same total score, then sort the result by extending hacker ID. Second order by hacker ID extending. If, okay, we got that. Exclude all hackers with a total score of zero from your result. Exclude hackers with score of zero. Total score of zero, actually. Total score of zero. So let's try this problem now with the subquery. So we have hackers and submissions table. Hackers table, an example, and the submissions table with four columns and hackers only with hacker ID and name. So let's first write down what do we want. We want the hacker ID name and or select select nope select hacker id name and the string with total score from hackers let's try this one now Okay, so now we have the hacker ID, the name, and a string with total score. We, we have to insert still the sto total score. We have 200 rows. Okay, so this is our first query. We can use this later on again. And now let's see how we can get to this total score. So now this is the hackers table. Call it here first query in the notes. And now we want the submissions table. From the submissions, we want the total score, which is the sum for all of the challenges. So if a hacker made this challenge 10 times, then we have to get the maximum from this challenge, the maximum score. If, it, if he did another challenge, then we have to take from the second challenge also the maximum scores, as in the example. Okay, so let's try to get the select maximum score and the hacker ID from submissions table. And we have to group it by, so for each challenge, we want the maximum score, each challenge that the hacker did. 
So we group it by challenge ID and of course also by hacker ID because we want to have for every hacker the maximum score and not just for the challenge in total. So let's see what we have here. Okay, so now we have the maximum score in the first column and the hacker ID in the second column. So here he had a challenge where he had a maximum score of 45 and the challenge 486 and the maximum score of 29 also uh, not in the challenge 486, in the hacker ID 486. This hacker made the, in one challenge 45 maximum score and the other challenge he made 29 maximum score. The same hacker, so he made two challenges here, one after uh, one in the first line and one in the second line. And then we want to make the sum from these challenges because the total score of a hacker, we need some of their maximum scores for all of the challenges. So all the challenges that a hacker made, we want to have the sum now. So naturally what we want to do is make the sum from maximum from score. So this is actually what we want to do, right? We want to make the sum from the maximum score. That way we get the total score. But like we can see when we do that now, we are not getting any result because what is he saying? Cannot perform an aggregate function on an expression containing an aggregate or a subquery. Okay, so he cannot do this. He cannot make a maximum score and then a sum score in the same query. So what do we actually have to do? We have to take this query that we did here and use it as a table in, in the first query that we already noted here. So this one is going to be our subquery. So basically a subquery is nothing else than just another table that you're using. But it's not a table that is saying standing in the database at this uh, submissions table that's already on the server. The subquery is like just a temporary table that we create during our statement. And now we take this temporary table, this subquery, and we use it with the first query with the statement that we already did. So this is now our subquery, subquery. So now let's, let's the first query again. Select, nope, select hacker ID, name and total score. So, and in total score, we need sum from max score. Now, what is max score? This name, we don't know yet. We didn't, it didn't came until now. So now we take hacker ID and name from the hackers table. And now we need another table. We need to somehow get this maximum score. And therefore we did the subquery table here and we can take it from the subquery table. But how do we put the subquery table now into this table? Well, the same way that we do, that we combine any other table in SQL, we do a join. So we make inner join now what do we want to inner join usually we would write the table name if we want to join with submissions we would write here submissions but we don't want to join with submissions right now we want to join with the subquery table so we are taking this subquery that we did here and we put it in brackets in parentheses and now we can join it that's how easy you can just include a subquery and the max score, we have to give it the name, this column, and the name that we used here as max score. We called it max score. And we take put the name now as max score. And the subquery, we also have to name it. We always have to name the subquery that we use in the join. So we call it as subquery, just for an, as an example now, as subquery. So now what do we have? We have the sum from max score and the max score we take from our subquery table that we just joined here as a subquery. And now we actually still have to make another group by for this, for our outer table. 
and we have to group this one by hacker ID and by name. Okay, group by hacker ID and name. So let's see if this one is running. Okay, it's not running yet because we didn't really put tell them on what he should join the subquery, right? No, we just said inner join. Like in any other join, we also have to tell him on what he should join. Inner join the subquery on subquery dot, of course he should join on the hacker ID because this is what he has in the subquery and what we have also here in our outer query from hackers table. On subquery dot hacker ID equals hackers dot hacker ID. Now we have also the join condition and we told him on which column he should join. So let's run this again. Okay, now he has another problem, ambiguous column name hacker ID. So he doesn't know from which to take this hacker ID now because we have it one time in the hacker table, hackers table, but also in the subquery table. So which one he should use. And he should use in this time from the hackers table, from the outer table. So we make from hackers we can also shorten hackers, h. So we can also write here just h.hackerid. So it makes it a bit easier, at least easier to write, h.hackerid. So name we only have in hacker table, so we don't have to tell them where to take it from. Max score we only have in subquery table, so we also don't have to tell anything here. We just have to tell them where to take the hacker ID from because he doesn't know because it is in both tables, group by h.hackerid. So let's run this one again. Okay, perfect. And now we are already very close to the solution. So it looks pretty similar already. We have the hacker ID as the first column. Then we have the name. And then we have the total score. Perfect. So now we just have to include the other conditions that we still wrote. So what other conditions do we have? Order by score descending. Okay. Order by the total score descending. Order by, so what is the total score? It is here, sum from max score. Sum from max score. And it should be descending. And we have a second order. Second order by hacker ID ascending. Okay, hacker ID ascending. Oh, do we have other conditions? Yes, we have one more. Exclude hackers with total score of zero. Okay, we have to exclude them with a having clause. We cannot use the where clause because it is aggregated here in the table. And with an aggregated value, like the total score, only uh, use it as a condition in the having clause, having sum from max score bigger than zero because we want to exclude all that are zero. If, you, if we look at here, then we should already, we should still find some zero. So here we have a zero. We don't want this ones anymore. So we make having sum from max score bigger than zero. Okay, so this is all the conditions that we had. If we run this one again now, it should bring us a solution. Okay, great, we have the solution. So now you saw how to use the subquery as a live example. And if you like the content, then you can give it a thumbs up, you can subscribe and also write in the comments if you have other videos. As you saw, I reacted to the other comments. So if you give another suggestion, I might also take it into account in my next videos. And see you in the next one, bye.